بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد Truthfulness in Islam and avoiding lying, being honest with oneself, being honest in one's practice of the religion, being honest with family and friends and all those you encounter. And being honest with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those are all attributes of the believer. And those are all things and characteristics the believer should be concerned with. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to possess those characteristics that He subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those, the siddiqeen, loves the, those people who are truthful. And anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with is something we need to concern ourselves with as believers. And that means that that is an act of ibadah, of worship. If something, Allah, if Allah loves something or is pleased with something, that means that it is worship. And in a hadith, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الصدق يهدي إلى البر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وإن الرجل ليصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار وإن الرجل لِيَكْذِبُوا حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كِذَّابًا مُتَفِقٌ عَلَيْهِ In this hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تنا عنه that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said verily truthfulness guides to piety and verily piety guides to paradise and a man will continue to tell the truth until he is written with Allah to be one of the truthful ones and verily, lying leads to evilness, wicked, wickedness. And wickedness, it leads to the fire. And a man will continue to lie until he is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a Liar, and this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, there is many, many benefits for us as a believer, as believers, that we have to be truthful. And since the holy month of Ramadan is upon us. We should be very observant 
of this habit of the believers. We should strive our utmost to be truthful, to avoid lying, to watch our speech, to control our tongues, and not just our tongues, but our private parts. That we avoid those things, Muharram. That is the jihad and nafs. That's part of the struggling with ourselves, with our own selves. Striving to control your tongue and not speak ill of others and lie. Striving to be truthful with your parents and those who have authority over you. Striving to avoid all of the muharramat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. All of those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. This is exercise for us during the holy month of Ramadan. To exercise our iman. As the point of Ramadan is to exercise that and draw us nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that we may attain taqwa. Taqwa Allah. Taqwa Allah azza wa jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al kareem Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba alladheena min qablakum la'allakum tattaqoon That we have written that it has been prescribed for you meaning the believers because in the beginning of the ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyu alladheena amanu O you who believe Kutiba alaykum siyam It has been written for you to fast, meaning it's prescribed for you to fast. Kama kutiba ladina min kablikum, similar to the way that it was prescribed for those people who came before you, la'allakum tattakun, so that you will gain God consciousness, be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, avoid the muharramat, and engage and strive to do the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those characteristics that Ramadan is going to help instill in us, bi'idnillah, they are the opposite of lying. Lying negates truthfulness and lying negates and takes away from your, your piety and your, your taqwa that you're trying to attain. Remember in the beginning of the hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu said, إِنَّ الْصِدْقَ يَهْدِي لِلْبِرْ So truthfulness guides you to piety. And then in the end of the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, وَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَهْدِي لِلْفُجُورِ That lying guides you or pushes you to wickedness. But it's upon us to practice this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And as the Prophet ﷺ said, that lying and fujur, that fujur takes you to the fire. So wickedness, when we don't do the things that we're ordered to do during Ramadan, when we're not cautious with our tongues, when we're not careful with our tongues, when we're not truthful with our tongues, that is the guidance to the hellfire. That is the guidance, guidance to all the wickedness. That, that pushes us towards wickedness, which we want to have the attributes of the believers. We want to gain the taqwa and come closer to Allah, be of the muttaqeen, be of the pious ones, the righteous ones, those who fear Allah much. And we ask that Allah the Almighty guides us to those things which he is pleased with and protects us from those things which he is displeased with wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam